and welcome to a tutorial by COD Mapper on my YouTube page, COD Radiant. Please like and subscribe for upcoming tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some basics of terrain editing. I will make another part to this to cover the stuff I missed and forget, and some stuff I just can't cover in one video. So let's go ahead and get a new map started. Alright, go, go ahead and pick out a caulk texture. Go ahead and make a brush like you normally do make brushes. Left click. Down here. That's all I want. Alright, and now to make a simple terrain patch, go to up here, patch. Simple terrain patch. Terrain dens density. You see, width, that's going to be like your x axis. That's how many vertices will be placed on this right here. And then your height will be what will be placed on the y axis. So make sure on X Y top before you do this. There's and there's your simple train patch without a real texture. All right, some things we're gonna go over is vertice editing of terrain. So to bring up vertices, you want to hit V. All right, and let's say you want some of these vertices snapped onto a grid. S just left click and select all those and hit control G and that will snap them all on right there alright another thing to go into before we do this is let's say you want a vertice column a column right here in between these two vertices let's say oh I forgot when I was um making my simple train match train patch select these two right here hit control shift A and it'll make one well I held it down right there but hit control Shift A and it makes one directly in the middle. I can't believe I held it down. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that right there is put put one ex exactly in the middle. All right. So let's say I want to add on another layer of vertices right here on this row down this way. The exact height of these right here of this right here. So select two or more in the row you want and hit Alt O and that makes the exact height or the length from here to here and adds another vertices right here and hit S light map whenever that happens because it usually stretches it out alright now let's go ahead and apply a texture texture usage um, ground this is terrain let's pick simple grass alright here's some vertice eddings which you can do is V select the vertice and hit alt left click and drag it around I usually get a rough idea of what I want on my train before I go any farther with V to add paths and whatnot alright and that's how you do that alt left click and drag alright so let's say you want to make this a bit darker than usual so let's go ahead and bring up our vertice editing Alright, here we go. G vertex slash alpha editing. Alpha is how much you're um, alpha blending it. And hue, saturation, luminance is all color. And grab means you can grab like um, data from one vertex and put it into your editing box right here and then c copy it on other um, patches. Color. Of course, you can just pick out a color that you want. All right, apply means you want to apply what you set. Real time means as you're editing, you can see it in the 3D window what's exactly happening. Of course, color and alpha is what you want to edit. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say I want to do some alpha blending with my vertexes. So go ahead and copy this patch right here, which is not a blend texture. Hit spacebar, move it exactly on top of your first train patch now pick a blend texture and we can pick any one alright let's pick this sand right now the sand will overlap the non blend texture you will not be able to see the blend tech the normal texture until you blend your blend texture so let's go ahead and hit V again bring up my vertices and let's say I want to blend these middle rows right here to select a row hit shift actually a column hit shift and just select one vertice in the row and I'll select the whole column sorry columns and then hit it again and it'll select a row alright select this 
column right here and then hit control hold down control now and just like the other one alright now over here in our vertex editing menu right here we want to bring alpha all the way down to zero and we want only alpha selected and then go ahead and apply and there we go it's blended right there easy way to do it and let's say I want this this sand to be a bit darker go ahead and select all the vertices that you, that, well, that you want it to be darker at and deselect alpha and select color Wait, let's get a nice yellow in here get a good brownish because that's what sand is and apply and of course it's real time so you can see it as I'm doing it and over here if you notice it's darker over here in with the color so it looks a bit nicer here I can show you another example with the grass it's like V and select all these right here get a good green right here make sure color is selected there we go now it's darker alright that last one looks pretty bad but <laughs> yeah that's how you will edit color and change the color of whatever you want Alright, now let's say I um, have a patch over here that I want. Well, this would be a good texture right here for, to show the color. Um, make it a simple terrain patch like we showed before. Control Shift A. Alright, and now let's go back over here and select a vertice that you edited the color with, and you want to have that same exact color on your other terrain patch. So make sure you have control s color selected and grab. You want to grab the color over there. Now that sets all this in here to what you had for this sand texture over here. Now now that that's in that window, select this over here, this patch, hit V again, select all the vertices, and now hit apply, and bam, it's the same color as over here. You can also do with that with that that with alpha. All right, that it that sums up part one, of uh, which is vertice editing of terrain. Next, I'm going to show you the advanced patch editing options, which will be soon my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for upcoming tutorials.